Hey, what's up, guys? We are back again with a really safe Royal Giant deck to crush all the crazy decks that you see on ladder. Whether it's a Golden Balloon deck or an absolutely insane Hog Rider Royal Giant deck, we've got multiple answers on defense with the Fisherman and the Goblin Cage. You're able to pull cards to the middle, and if they have a surprise win condition that they shouldn't have, you'll have another counter in store. Dark Prince destroys Goblin Drill, the Mother Witch and the Mega Minion are great air defenses, and the Royal Giant gets damage from basically at the river. So with one of the best win conditions in the game and a super solid defense, this is my favorite deck for ladder. So let's go jump straight some games and assert some dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a huge thank you to everyone that's using Creator Concert Tag. It massively improves the editing and allows me to consistently upload daily videos. Hey, so jumping right into this game, I can't cycle my Dark Prince. I really want to cycle my Dark Prince, but we realize if you do such a thing and then you get Goblin Drilled, you just lose the game. Isn't that... Why shouldn't I keep it? So we wait patiently and passively until we can accrue our value and assert the dominance on the tower. We're like, okay, dude, you dropped your Goblin Drill, you dropped a Bomber at the River, you're a certified savage, you do not know how to play that deck, and we will make sure that our presence is known on your tower for that. Wow. wow. Seriously? You're gonna drop a Golem to distract the Mega Minion but not care about the Dark Prince? He's feeling a little bit left out right now, man. Also, why is it that everyone on this ladder just runs a super skillless deck? Whether it's Goblin Drill spam at the river or a Golem and just all in and never defend. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like I'm gonna play against the entire day today. And, and that's why we love our deck. <laughs> because we've got double buildings, we've got a plethora of good answers to your opponent. If they want to go in for Goblin Drills and they fireball aggressively in single elixir, they're able to actually get a lot dude. of damage on a Valkyrie, but Dark Prince is a different story. I mean, usually, I guess the Dark Prince just decided to walk around the tower and not finish off the Goblins, but 99% of the time, the Goblin Drills just gets hard countered by the Dark Prince, and even if they fireball or spell it, you'll get absurd value. So... I'm going to Fisherman here to stop that Dark Prince in its tracks. It's not going to be able to finish off our tower. And I'd love to see him cycle something to the left hand side. If he does, we just RG at the river and we stand and deliver. I think if we Barbro and we go in for a Fisherman left, we take out the tower there. Because he's going to be so captivated by the other lane. Okay, we're going to be able to pull the Bomber. The Barbro gets a hit. And that is so much value, guys. It is stored up value. It's better than the Elixir Collector when we get a Night Witch spam on us. It feels so fantastic. Look at that, guys. The Mother Witch is not going to die for a while. We're going to get some piggies. It's going to be a profound defense that you guys have not seen the value before. So the only difficulty arises when the fact that the Night Witch builds up a lot of bats and Double Elixir. If he has Clone plus the Goblin Drill, that's where it becomes extra spicy. But other than that, it's super easy. So I'm going to RG here just to guarantee that we take out the tower. I could hypothetically Fireball here. And I'm not going to. It just doesn't seem like the, the necessary play. We, yep, yeah, now I'm going to Fireball. Okay. All right, dude. I get you. I get you, man. I feel you. I vibe with you. Just a little bit, you know? Not too much. We're able to go and pull and pass the Golem all the way around the world. And then we Mother Witch on top of the Bats. So we should be able to shut down the Bomber without too many issues. The Bats are going to be slightly problematic, but not the worst thing in the world. Do I start to 3-crown this guy? Because I think he's just going to go all in and ignore the Royal Giant. I think that's a... A high likelihood right now. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? We're gonna go where no man has gone before. Wow. Golem at the river. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I like to see. That is the audacity. That is the cojones that we like to see in ladder. <laughs> and that's why he gets three crowned. You deserve to do that, man. If every single person goes in for a goblin drill at the start or a golem in the back, they deserve nothing else than to get three crowned. So jumping right into this game, let's see what Carlos yeah, has in store for us. Usually, if we've got Dark Prince, we are not allowed to cycle it. But this guy, he's going to go in for a bomber in the back. So I don't think it's going to be a Goblin Drill deck. It could be the Goblin Drill fast cycle. Ah, here we go again. Cool, but yeah, I was going to say most of the time it's going to be like Golem Lightning or Golem Clone. One of the other. So usually, when you're playing against a Golem deck, you all in on the other side and you're like, yes, Royal Giant, believe. In the heart of the cards, you gotta get this tower down. You gotta do the dominance. And unfortunately, I don't think this guy's even gonna drop a skeleton army or something. So I have to fully fledge my dedication on defense to activate King Tower here, eliminate the bats, and then go for a Mother Witch to finish off the Night Witch. So that's what the strategy is here. I wonder if he's gonna lightning or if he's gonna clone. I just don't know what this guy's gonna have in store for us. Oh, Stop wow. right there, criminal. Wait, the e bar's got pulled back by the Royal Giant. That high key just saved my butt. 
Guys, we got so much longer of a time period to defend now simply because the lead barbarians were distracted and they might go and chase the piggy. Let's go! Oh, wait, Fisherman, why'd you do that? Why'd you pull him back to the tower? Why you gotta do me like that? I was so happy for a second, and then it just completely got devastated. But the lead barbarian had his hand in the air, and he's like, Teacher, call on me. And he just got slapped in the face. Are you kidding me right now, man? Is this the game plan? Is that the strategy? The fireball was phenomenal. We hit the lumberjack, the band... Or, I was gonna say bandit, but it was a bomber and the baby dragon. So, apparently, bandits and bombers, they look alike, but this guy is a very sad panda already. So, all we have to do is defend and hold the door. And if we're able to do that and slam it in his face, we'll make him a disgrace for running the golem deck and just all inning and not even trying to defend. So, it's so risky dropping a fisherman in the back and cycling it. I realized I wanted to, but I can't. You know, have you guys ever had that suspicion of like, oh, I really want to do this, but I feel like... There's just going to be a really bad outcome if this happens. So, uh, yeah, we fell, we fell short there. We did not have the audacity to go in for a really aggressive fisherman in the pack. We're going to go and pull the goal on the other side, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. I mean, there's a lot of different things that this man could do, but... If we're able to make sure that the golem isn't tanking anymore, that is phenomenal stuff because then we can ignore the rest of the Night Witch, all the bats. They are going to get some damage, but they will not take my tower. So as you guys can see, with traditional Royal Giant decks, sometimes it will struggle if your opponent's going to go in for a Lightning Golem deck, especially with Elite Barbarians. But if you've got the double defense sauce with the Goblin Cage to go and pull the golem, and then you pull it even further with the Fisherman, then you're able to circumvent the lightning and make sure like, hey, yeah, you might be able to lightning my fisherman, but you're not able to lightning the building and the fisherman, bro. So yeah, we're walking away with a very clean W. We just took two towers and he hasn't even taken one yet. As you guys can see, he is the epitome of a sad, angry panda. And that's what we'd like to do out here, guys. Destroying elite barbarians and going in the back first player's dreams and making the memes, that makes me happy. It puts a smile on my face. And we can ride off into the sunset knowing that we just made the game a little bit less toxic. Complimentary psychological detox removes all your cognitive toxins. Hey, we got a game against rare. What is going on, my dude? Are you rarer than all of our legendary cards? Are you rarer than a medium rare steak? What you gonna do, man? We're gonna follow up with a mother witch in the back just because it's gonna be really good against fire spirits, essentially when your tower's healthy. But at the start, that's what we have. So we're gonna vibe with it. But she whiffs every single fire spirit afterward, which is really unfortunate. Watch, the fire spirit just bashes her in the face. And she's just like, oh, what's that? I'm not even going to look at the fire spirit. It's supposed to be tickling me, right? It's supposed to be a nice, hot, warm day at the spa. But unfortunately, she got destroyed. So we're able to go in for a Mega Minion counter with the Dark Prince and the Goblin Cage whenever we want. It's pretty good. Like, it's big, beefy boys able to shut down the DP of him. And uh, I'm going to Barbarrel, please. Oh. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine. But you I thought we were in the clear, man. I thought we were having a nice tropical vacation in this arena. I thought we were chilling on the beach without any damage or any worries in the world. And then this guy's like, no, Jake, how about you take some nice straight damage to the face? And uh, I feel real bad, so. All right, we'll bounce back. It's just not the best start, guys. <laughs> Every single time that your opponent gets damaged for no reason, it uh, kind of hurts a little bit. We could fireball, but the, the Musketeer's not gonna walk into that immediately, so. Just vibing with what we have. I think the Fire Spirit connects to the tower. We are able to finish off the Musketeer, so there is that for us. We get Mega Minion, so it's looking like a graveyard deck, and all things considered, really feels like a graveyard deck right now. Skeletons, Fast Cycle, Musketeer. Yeah, we're gonna get graveyard at any moment. Especially with Poison. You're not running a Balloon Cycle deck with Poison. So, we'll see what we can get. I, I wanna start swerving opposite lane, just because if he gets counter push, we don't want him to be able to get the value and also get the, the graveyard on the exact same side. I guess the bar barrel is going to give us two hits on the tower, so maybe we go back to the right-hand tower. A lot of different decisions to be made. All right, skeletons are going to get finished off, so that Mother Witch was absolutely Bruh. tragic. We are not going to talk about how I thought I would get two piggies there. <laughs> not even in the consideration for me. Maybe we're going to be able to get, like, a Valkyrie or something out of him. Okay, Dark Prince, that's really good. That's awesome. So... We bait out a Mega Minion and a DP. That's seven Elixir that isn't going to give him counter push in the lane that he wants. Do we start swerving him? Because he just went in for a Musketeer there. That's all of his damage, right? You have no damage to finish off this Royal Giant push. There's absolutely nothing. So we're in a Barb Barrel. We're going to be able to stop your Mega Minion in his tracks. Remember, he's going to have poison. So I think that the potential with the Mother, which is quite possibly limitless. 
She's gonna walk away from the Musketeer, right? She's gonna stay alive. Yes, she is! I am a believer. I didn't doubt her for a split second, guys. I knew she would. She's still staying alive. Zero HP hero. We're gonna finish off the Musketeer, the Piggy. Wilbur the Pig is giving us immense value. And now we go in for a Mega Minion Kite with the Dark Prince. So then his Dark Prince that counters ours goes in the wrong side again. Oh, let's go, baby. This is exactly what we needed. The Barbro might even lock onto the tower instead of the Furnace. Nope. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, that's unfortunate. Is he gonna grave here? Yeah, he is. That's awesome. So now, the Piggy Potential. That's what we need, baby. Give me the piggy value. It's so satisfying just to see like an endless M&M dispenser of piggies going on your opponent's tower. You're like, wow, I thought I should be paying a listener for this, but no, we're getting the value absolutely for free. So I might go in for a fireball so that the Mega Man is able to get some damage on the Muskie. Not quite, but that's a lot of value. We made out a log. He is down in the dumpster right now. He is dumpster diving for food and value. Okay, so we want one piggy, so I'm not even going to bar barrel. Sometimes I do, but this is one of those moments that we're like, yeah, this piggy is going to give us a couple hits. So it's worth it. Oh, two hits on the tower. That's what I'm talking about. Clean stuff. So I want to go for a royal giant at the river and then just fireball the musketeer. If we're able to knock the musketeer to the other lane, it is so funny. Yes, no counter push with it. It's just looking away from the royal giant. <laughs> it's like, nope, get me out of here. I don't even want to be on this vacation stay anymore. Get me off this island. I'm stranded, and I didn't sign up for Survivor. The tribe has spoken. So we're jumping into this game. I'm going to Fisherman and shut down that mortar. So unfortunately, no Royal Giant in cycle immediately when this, this guy decides to go and spam at the river with his win condition. Like, why? Why do you just drop cards like that without even knowing what your opponent's got? Holy crap, he's aggressive. He tornadoed our Mother Witch right into the Valkyrie, so then the mortar would lock onto our tower. That is the definition of feisty. A few minutes later. I just don't know how to win it, guys. I don't think there is a way to win it. <laughs> Unless he just throws. It's just so impossible, though. Huh? I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that just happened. That is actually a 100 to zero matchup for him. <laughs> and we won. That's insane. Hey, jumping into this game, unfortunately, this guy's like 50 trophies under us. Oh no, God! So I want to win and I really want to win. I can't lose trophies. No! Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I Dark Prince in the same lane where he dropped a P.E.K.K.A. That is a four elixir donation. Also, four elixir to why are you dropping P.E.K.K.A. in the back first play? What is wrong with you, dude? Are you crazy? Are you, you're definitely not running a regular P.E.K.K.A. deck because if you did that, you would just lose all your trophies every single time. So you've got like Skeleton Army or an insane deck that I haven't seen the likes of before. But we will show you guys how to counter P.E.K.K.A. effectively. Our deck is actually quite good at it. And uh, most P.E.K.K.A. decks just trounce utterly destroy royal giant but now we are the apex predator at the top of the food chain the royal giant devours the pecker and that's not something that you see every day so i can go in for the bar barrel i can do a lot of different things here but i mean best thing first is just going for a fish boy follow up with a dp make sure that the electro wizard doesn't reset the fish boy and we shut it all down with absolutely no damage on our tower we like that a lot so when you have the counter push with a royal giant dark prince and a fish boy, you're able to go and pass the P.E.K.K.A. off the Royal Giant for a little bit, and then finish it off with a Mega Minion and distract it. So this is what your push should look like. If you go in for a Royal Giant at the river into a P.E.K.K.A. and you have no supporting cards, you, sir, are a buffoon of the highest order. So just make sure that you're getting counter push with the Royal Giant and the Fisherman and all that stuff. Also, I was busy talking to you guys and I think the bandit locks onto my tower. Get some Fs in the comment section for that, guys. That was, that was a pretty bag. Uh, fat failure. Almost as big as a failure as I say big. Like, how did I say big incorrectly? I said bag or big? I'm not sure, but my pronunciation, guys, let's just call it an accent, okay? It's a Boston accent. So we'll see what happens here. Dark Prince is gonna connect to his Dark Prince and the tower, showing him some extra love that he didn't even sign up for. And he got the entire package, you know, you get the Valentine's Day special, and you got the flowers, you got the love, you get the damage straight to your face. <laughs> Everything this man could ever ask for is just like a tightly bundled package. So 
I think that the only difficulty right now is him potentially going in for a Ram Rider, but we've got Fireball to bounce it back, so we slow down the charge. And then also, I mean, if you want to go another side, be my guest, bro. No, Barbaro, do not take the targeting. Be a good boy, Fisherman. I trained you well. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. So all we have to do is defend right now on the left-hand side, and then we Fireball him out, and we walk away with a win. But... I'm going to tell you something, guys. A dirty little secret. We don't like just doing that. We want to take two towers to assert double the dominance. Can we do it? It's so satisfying taking two towers at the exact same time. Why are you dropping a P.E.K.K.A. that far back away from the Royal Giant? What are you doing, you madman? Okay, we want to take both towers. We really want to take both towers at the same time. Is it possible? Are we capable? Let's do it, guys. Let's make it happen. <laughs> I wanted to so bad, but now there's a P.E.K.K.A. coming at me. I'm a little bit scared. I'm going to hide under the covers, fireball him and walk away with a glorious win. GG, well played, and peace out. It was a pleasure carrying your towers to pieces. Like, subscribe, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Dude.